Hi guys, today um, I will be creating a look using this month's Boxy Charm right here. This is the look I came up with using this month's products. If you want to learn how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a try on haul with um, this month's Boxy Charm. Um, Boxy Charm is a subscription you can uh, subscribe to. You just have the regular bots. Uh, I know they have other bots, but this is just the basic bots. Um, this one is, I believe, to pay $27. So yeah, today we're just gonna be testing out the products and hopefully everything comes out good. This month's Boxy Charm, I got a total of five products this is the first product i received this is a uh, glow sleeping mask uh, basically smooths and perfects skin overnight it is pillow proof formula acts as a radiance boosting face mask formulated with soothing amino acid rich watermelon extract hydrating hyaluronic acid and pore refining AHAs, I think that's what it says, that work while you sleep to gently exfoliate and clarify. This one is for retail, $22. I'm not gonna be trying that one out just because it is a sleeping mask. I just wanna touch it real quick. I wanna see what's the consistency. Ooh, it's kinda like, it's a gel-like feel to it. Mm, it smells like watermelon it smells good but yeah i'm not gonna be trying that one out just because like i said it's a sleeping mask that's something i will have to try out overnight the second product skin and co roma truffle therapy face scummage and it is an exfoliating cream uh i will be trying this one out today just to exfoliate it's a powerful free radical scavenger that reduces the signs of aging Ooh, i love anything that helps with aging just because i'm getting up in those years is gently buff away and erase dull lackluster skin revealing a more luminous and healthy complexion so let's try this one out let's see the directions apply a liberal amount of truffle therapy face gummage over face and neck gently massaging with circular movements for one to two minutes avoiding eye area remove with a damp lukewarm face towel and pat dry use one to three times per week it doesn't say to use on a wet face so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out and see okay so oh I hope I'm doing this right and I hope you don't have to have a wet face because I did not do that. I'm supposed to massage it with circular motions everywhere. I feel like it's already settling into my skin. And it feels tingly. Cool. And as you can see, I do have acne prone skin, so I hope this really works so I could start trying it out. Okay, so I just came back from washing my face and it feels really nice and refreshed. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is this concealer right here by uh, Pretty Vulgar. Oh, it's called Undercover Concealer. Um, I got the color 63, the middle ground. When I was swatching this, um, concealer it did look a little bit too dark for um my taste i really like to um uh, make sure my uh concealers or two shades lighter than my foundation so let's try it out i'm gonna use this concealer first to as a primer for my eyeshadow i always like to put some on the back of my hand and then with a concealer brush just start carving out my eyebrow first off the bat I do notice it's a little bit sheer like I don't see a much like a thick consistency like the um, Tarte Shapeless Concealer <laughs>
just as using it as my base i can tell it is a really light formula okay guys the next product we're gonna be using is this ace beauty eyeshadow palette this palette retails for $34.99 oh my god the colors are so pretty gosh i have no idea what i'm gonna create yet but let me take this plastic off look how pretty it is you guys i didn't have to start all over just because I kind of pressed the button and I wasn't recording, so... Once again, first color I'm gonna use is Sunset, which is the first color right here. Just dipping in with the Morphe M44 one brush. And that's gonna be my transition color. And I'm just gonna blend that color and keep going back to the pan if I feel like I am not satisfied. I've been going in with Bahamas. It's this last shade right here. Grabbing onto that Bahamas color, I will start packing it in my outer corner and then slowly just drag it in and blend it towards the first transition color I used. And then with that first blending brush I used to put Sunset Rose, I'm just gonna start blending those two colors together. Like so. I do want to darken that outer corner just a little bit more and for that I'm gonna go ahead and tap in with the Morphe M433 brush which looks like this and then I'm gonna use Sangria right here I love this palette I feel like this palette would be perfect for Valentine's Day and remember, I'm just going to be using that, tap out the excess, and then just tap it in my corner. I'm not going to drag it all the way in. I just want that outer corner to be slightly darker. Ooh, just like that. Again on the other eye. I'm gonna cut the crease. I really didn't like the concealer, but I'm gonna use it to cut the crease. Anyways, using this wet and wild flat brush, I'm gonna pick up some that same concealer we got in the box and start cutting out my crease. I always start off by pulling my eyelid just a little bit out, and then I start placing it. And then another technique is, cause a lot of people struggle with creases. I was one of them when I first started. So I always look up and you see, that gives me a outline of where I want my cut crease to end. For my eyeshadow, I like using flat brushes. So um, this is from this is the dual brush that comes with um, the Naked palettes. And the first color I want to pick up, I'm gonna pick up Maui. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's this color right here. 
okay and this color I'm just gonna place it just right here Ooh, it's pretty just in the front and then with the other side of the brush I'm gonna go with Aurora Aurora is gonna be this color right here just the same brush and this is gonna be the outer color right here this is gonna be my middle color Here I'm using my finger and see if she'll pick the color a little better. I'm just picking up some more sangria. I'm gonna darken up the outer corner a little bit more. For my highlight, I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush that came in the collection. And I'm gonna pick up that Aruba color right here, right there. I'm gonna use it to highlight my brow. The same brush I used to for the transition, just blending those two colors together. Finishing off my eyeliner off camera. Okay, so Boxy Charm they came with this concealer. It's a lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural, flawless finish. Infused with vitamin E to keep skin moisturized and to rejuvenate and improve the skin's appearance. The angled doe food applicator is easy to use and precise and precisely applies the velvety soft formula to visibly brighten the complexion and cover dark circles. This blendable long wearing concealer is great for all skin types. Retail price is $25. So I used it as a base and I didn't like it as a base. So now let's check it out as an actual concealer and see how it works. I feel like it's not as thick as the Tarte Shape Concealer. This one has a more lighter frequency and here I'm just adding it to the highlights of my face, like my bridge of my nose, my forehead, my tip of my nose, my chin, and my under eye. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start setting that in. Yeah, so see, I feel like it's not really doing what I want it to do, which is I like a full coverage concealer because sometimes, you know, I don't get my eight hours of sleep and you could tell when my eyes look tired. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip on this concealer. If you guys got this concealer, let me know and if you guys tried it and if you guys ended up liking it because it's just not working for me it doesn't give me that full coverage i want in a concealer it's pretty lightweight it does say it's buildable i'm gonna go ahead and do one more layer underneath my eye area and see how it works now a little better but let's see how it does with my creasing because my under eyes do tend to crease so let's see it 
see this is why it's circling i'm looking like a powdered donut right here this is why i'm like getting dressed before um do my makeup because it just it's out of control oh my god it's like fucking baby powder Getting all over my face. I'm using the R RCMA powder. I haven't used this in a long time, so let's see how it works. Now I'm gonna go back and finish my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go back and use the um, naked one I was using for my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in back and do Sunset Rose right here. And just place it underneath my eye. I like the palette, it's so pretty. It'll be perfect. For those girls who like oranges and pinks, I really like burgundy colors, so this palette is in my lane. I'm gonna go with Sangria once again. It's that dark burgundy color. I'm gonna use that. Closer to my lash line. And again, I'm just using the other side of the dual uh, Echo Tools brush. I'm gonna go back with Sunset and just blend those two colors together just to give it a nice transition. Tight lining my eyes with some black eyeliner. I will go with any black eyeshadow. I always do this just because I feel like it makes the um, the eyeliner last much longer and then it gives some more intensity to the black, if that makes sense. I feel like we all make weird faces when doing our makeup. Especially when we're in our north eye area. Okay, now for my inner corner highlight, I will be going back with that Aruba. Just using an inner corner brush. Just highlighting my inner corner. Ooh, I like. I really like as my inner corner. What you guys think? I really like how that color performed as the inner corner highlight. So now I'm just gonna try it as the main highlight. And with that, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M501 brush. It looks like this, it's pretty uh, fluffy. And I'm just gonna be picking that color, hopefully. Okay, I see you. Come through highlight. Okay, so I'm just highlighting all the highlight points in my face. Here in my cupid's bow as well. Um, I put after I'm done highlighting I will always go back with my uh, brush I use as my blush for my blush I mean and just blend the two colors I'm not adding any more product I'm just basically tapping it into the highlight just to give it a more blended look 
Lastly, the next product we're gonna be using is going to be Ben lipstick. Um, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but um, Quidine Studio Matte Liquid Lip Satin. If you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip satin is your superhero. Or, or extremely pigmented formula gives you a true matte finish in one coat with 12 hour performance. Ooh. So I'm gonna try it out. Let's see. My lips are so sharp. Okay. Well, this is the final result um, using this month's Botsy Charm. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create it. I had so much fun. I ended up loving the palette. Also ended up liking the little lipstick. Um, at first I was like kind of iffy about it, but I never tried uh, lips like this in so long and I really ended up liking it. Um, one thing I was kind of iffy about that I really didn't like was the concealer. I, the, I'm more into uh, full coverage concealers and this one just wasn't doing it for me. I want to smell it real quick. See if it really smells like watermelon. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a jelly, but it's more like a. Oh, that's because I didn't open it yet. Oops. Okay. <laughs> 